how can your body function when it's thinking that it's stressed all the time? Right, it right. Can't. It can't at all. The cool thing is if you learn how to balance your nervous system, yeah. and you know, you obviously know about heart rate variability training. That's a really great one. So HRV. And so that's a great way to help understand that balance, right? If you have a good balance, then you can get stressed when you need to get stressed and you can be unstressed or decrease, go back to parasympathetic when you're not, right? Mm -hmm. Our base status is parasympathetic, most likely. Like evolutionarily, we had to mostly digest our food, right? We had to have something intake. So we think most likely evolutionarily, like our system probably started off as more of a sleeping digestive cycle, at least, you know, millions of years ago before we were actually, you know, human form. And then we created the sympathetic response to react to danger. Mm -hmm. I'm sure, I don't know if you've ever seen these National Geographic videos where you have an animal that's getting chased by predator type of animal. And then somehow the animal uh, gets away. It doesn't get killed, doesn't eat, doesn't get eaten. You'll see them go through this reaction, this sympathetic storm, as it were. They start shaking, they move all like crazy. And all of a sudden, 30 seconds later, they're fine. They're go back. You know? yeah. And that's what we're basically programmed to do too. But now that stress is just constantly going at us mm -hmm. every minute. And then we don't ever have any time to, you know, to respond and to go parasympathetic. And we've never really been educated or it's not part of our training as a kid to like, what is the shake? How can we induce the shake to, yeah, yeah. to really shake it off and then start fresh, right? Yeah. So you mentioned about your little one. Yeah. In your practice, have you noticed that some people are just more inherently susceptible to being more dominant in their sympathetic nervous system? I think that that is the case. I think, and there is some genetics that are probably playing a part here. Mm. And you'll find that, you know, some kids, um, I have four, as you know, some of my kids are more on the anxiety side. Some of my kids are like really chill. And then some are kind of just even keel. So there is some sort of like nature nurture. There is some sort of base status, yeah. but that doesn't mean that you can't also modify that over mm -hmm. time. And I think that it doesn't mean that just because you were quote unquote born this way, that you can't shift things as you understand more about your how you respond to things naturally, right? You got it. And so, you yeah. know, there's usually like your type A type of people, which are more head driven. They can be anxious, but they're typically more anxious related to not doing as good as they can do. 